EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Time for a much needed and much welcome diversion. The NFL is back. Here we go, week one. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. completion and that makes this second and nine tug of Iloa working out of the gun steps away to his left he's going to take off with it and he'll be out of bounds at the 25 yard line now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field boy not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year we'll be back Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. A quick toss out right, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of six. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down, even better decision. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. Yard line. They're going to go play action now with Stick. And he locates LaVisca Chenault, the rookie from Colorado. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Buccaneers' 46-yard line. Catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the shotgun to give to Jones. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the pick up. First down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. 
first and ten. Stick. Caught on the right side by Jones. He's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. That ball is a pickup of 42 on the catch and run. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. Now a first and ten at the 11. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Take Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the Bucks' 10-yard line. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he takes this down to about the 2 before going out of bounds. Now he'll get 9 there as that sets him up better for third down. is on to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he gets this in the hands of Mixon. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. First down, Buccaneers. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. 13 yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. And the Buccaneer first down. Mixon with a first down carry. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, here's Newton. Now that'll be 
tipped and intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now on second and 13, Stick. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. from the gun and he'll find Hall and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line they do get 9 but it leads to 4th down and that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film isn't it I mean they had the right call had the out route he's got to know where the first down sticks are yet he steps out of bounds that close not their best play and how about this one now in their own territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run it with Jones. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. That's a 34-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal... Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards there on a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. to Dillon on first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hall. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 37. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. The tackle made at the well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 
On second and nine. Stick. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw, a free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. No return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. A shotgun throw for Stick. He's going to launch this thing. It's caught inside the 25. Saints have taken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You get it down. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, oh, look out. And that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Joe Mixon. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. to their advantage downfield go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage but in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp here's second and 10 now from the 35 to throw again Newton and the Saints pressure gets him brought down for a sack Rashawn Gary gets him for a loss of a yard, and it will bring up third down. Third and 11. Oh 
Third and 11. And some extra depth to the secondary here. They're in the dime. From the gun, Newton. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts first down as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first down, it's Newton. Aaron this one out for Evans. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Newton. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. play and they're already just shy of midfield stick back to pass and a quick throw here that's complete now whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the first half First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now a carry for Gillen. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Aldrich Rosa set to kick off. see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Three. 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Again, it's Mixon. He'll have a first down past the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Here's a first down throw. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A gain of 21 yards. Good catch there by Mike Evans, and his ability to get downfield and create big plays is something that Tom Brady hasn't had on the perimeter in the last few seasons. Mike Evans often fools defenders with his speed because he's so long, people think he can't be that fast, but he is and combines it with terrific hands and makes big catches. They'll run on first down. Nixon. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the five. Joe Mixon. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. On second and goal, one man stands in the backfield, and that's Mixon. At the Saints, four-yard line. He'll get it up the middle, and he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. Josh Lambeau set to kick off. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback their own 25-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Stick looking to throw. Flushed out right. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Give him nine on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Off 
Play action instead. Binds him, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Stick looks to throw. second year in the league as a quarterback but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape he's like ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball no doubt about it and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball but remember second year as you noted on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward down there but it's incomplete he was looking for Adam Thielen there but it's going to be second down and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it second and ten third quarter of the season opener they'll run with Mixon he's got a first down and then some in midfield and he's got it across the 50 to the 47 yard line give him 14 on that one and a first down that's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Newton on first down. Let's it fly for Thielen. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one goes for 30 yards. Buccaneer first down. Touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bucs are going to take the lead. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21 14. score Buccaneers 21, Saints 14. Josh Lambeau set to kick off. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Here's a quick throw left side to start things out. And he'll be out right at the 35. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. He finds Hearns left side. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. 
They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. A gain of only a yard. It's fourth down. They'll run for it with Dillon. God, I think he went backward. He did. Well, they got the slim deficit, decided to go for it, hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit. But, boy, deep in their own territory like that? Let's just say that with that call, me and the head coach will agree to disagree. All right? But he knew he wanted to be aggressive there, as you pointed out. So I guarantee he told his defensive coordinator, have your guys up and ready. I'm going to go for it here. If we don't get it, just make sure they're ready to go out there and bail us out. Second and four. The last run got six. Now second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. able to get it down to the 25 there. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. From the gun, Newton. His pass caught at the 4. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Touchdown. Joe Mixon with now three week one touchdowns. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. And oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. The kick Who gets good. lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Josh Lambeau is set to kick off. now after the touchdown he'll kick this one away taken about seven yards deep and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line getting set for their next drive the New Orleans offense and last time out went for it on fourth down turned it over gave a great field position turned into six points so they've got to recover here Charles it's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events right the decision to go for it on fourth down caused all of that. it caused every bit of it but it showed confidence hey I've got confidence in you guys go pick it up for it didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. A first down there on a pickup of 25. 
First and 10 at the 40. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now stick. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hall. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Rashad Jones. There he goes left side. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra pack tacked on by Lambo. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Josh Lambo is set to kick off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken about seven yards deep. The Saints take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Brown, Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six at the 29-yard line. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it. And he got it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He's going to sling this deep down. This is caught the 20. And he gets this down deep in the Tampa Bay territory. It's a big play there for the Saints. 43 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's open like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steaming ahead, and he just hands it to you, and you get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. Made at the 25-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Nixon with a first down and more. 
And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Back to throw. Newton. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he's just across midfield. And down at the 49-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Here's Stick on first and ten. He's going to let it fly. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. At the 37-yard line. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Second and ten, it's stick. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts, as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. First and ten, stick. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Charlie Williams with a pick. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to a backup. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. To Joe Mixon. Eddie Jackson brought him down. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Tampa Bay, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for New Orleans...